Happy Thursday to you, but here it is Saturday, May 19th. I like how I say, but here as if we're time traveling, but we kind of are. Not really, you guys are seeing this in the past. So I'm time traveling to Thursday in the future. <sighs> we're getting a little bit of a later start today. It is 11.30 in, I guess, almost the afternoon, 11.30 in the morning. I don't know, the time between 11 and noon is just very confusing because it's not technically morning, but it's not technically afternoon deep thoughts with Kristen. <laughs> but you guys just saw that whole B-roll. I hope you enjoyed that of my morning and what I was doing. I ended up going for a run and then taking both of the dogs for a walk because while it was 94% humidity out, it was 70 degrees. And that is the first cool morning that we have had here in Texas in a while. So I wanted to take full advantage of that. But I've got a really busy day planned for today. I have a couple signed copies of books for Be Your Own Hashtag Goals that I need to package and get shipped out. I need to edit three chapters of Renegade Crew. If I can edit six chapters, that would be great. I'm trying to do three chapters a day and I really don't wanna do anything tomorrow because I want it to be a self-care Sunday. I don't really wanna open my laptop. I wanna to try to stay away from screens as much as I possibly can. So I'm gonna to try to edit six chapters so we'll kind of see how that goes. And then I'm also going to be packing for my book tour because I leave this coming Wednesday, which when you guys see this vlog, when it goes live, I will actually be in Los Angeles and I will be getting ready to go to my first book tour stop, which is at the last bookstore. So hopefully if you live in the Los Angeles area, you were able to get your tickets ahead of time. I am so excited to meet everyone and Oh, this is just gonna be so much fun. I'm trying to remain calm. It's really funny because it's more excitement now. And normally I think I would be feeling very, very stressed out, but I don't know what it is. I think the past couple of weeks I've really just kind of relaxed. I sort of did a social media detox a little bit. I just kind of did, I don't know, I took a break from the business side of things and really just focused on my health and wellness and my mind. I meditated a lot. I really have gotten back into an exercise routine, so it feels really good to kind of get back get back to myself again, because as you guys know, I was feeling a little bit for a while. So yes, on the agenda for today, we'll be packaging those signed copies of books. If I can make it to the post office, then I will, but seeing as it's already 11.30 and they close early on Saturday, I don't think that's going to happen, so I'll have to drop those off on Monday on my way to work, and I'll do some edits. Let's see if I can sit down and edit three chapters right now and then do three chapters later in the evening. It's asking a lot, but we'll see. <laughs> And then yeah, I'll take you through my suitcase. Actually, let's do that first because I have started packing. I've started the process. So I'm just trying to make sure I have everything I need in case I need to run to the store and grab some stuff. But let me show you, let's go into my shipping room and I will show you what I have so far. Oh, it looks like Lacey's made herself very comfortable because that is all cat hair. <laughs> So first and foremost, I am bringing two of this size suitcase with me because I am traveling for two weeks. And this suitcase is really just going to be all of my promotional stuff. So I am shipping books to the bookstores and to BookCon, but I am bringing some extra copies just in case I do run out. So that's mostly what this suitcase is. It's also a lot of my, you know, my square reader, which actually I'm gonna put that in my backpack because I cannot lose that but I have all of my bookmarks. I have my signs for BookCon, got my postcards, I've got my little book stands, my pens, my promotional pens are somewhere in there. I have my wrist brace because I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna need to wear it. Da -da -da -da. Has this been your new bed? <laughs> yeah. So there's not much left to put in here because even though there's some room, it's pretty heavy. It's probably, if I had to guess, it's probably close to like 45 pounds. And I think for the airlines, it's up to 50 pounds until you have to pay extra for the heavy baggage fee. So that is probably going to be all that's in that suitcase. 
And then my other suitcase is packed really, really well. And it's amazing because you're like, how are you fitting two weeks worth of clothes into just one suitcase? And it's actually because my sister, she works at the container store and she actually showed me these like Ziploc, they're not even Ziploc, I don't even know what they are. If I can find a photo, I'll leave it right here. But there are these like kind of like Ziploc bags, but they're really large. And you basically put all your clothes in there and then you kind of like roll it up and it presses all of the air out of it. So then your clothes, something that would normally be a huge stack, you know, something like that's this big is now like this big. So that's been incredible using those. Those are a lifesaver. I need to finish kind of making that suitcase look better because that's a little bit unorganized right now. So as far as my carry-ons go, it's just going to be my backpack, which will have my laptop in it and my books and, you know, just the really important stuff in there. And I'll also be carrying on my sign that's going to go up. I don't think it's going to go up at any of the other bookstores. I think I'm actually just going to have it go up at BookCon because it's, oh, well, just wait until you guys see it. It is gigantic. You know, I have to take that with me soon, right? But I'll bring it back. Yeah, I'll bring it back for you. You can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. So while I'm in here, let's package some books. I feel like this day is just getting gloomier and gloomier. Oh, Ooh, I think there's a bug in here. Oh yeah, there's a fly in here. <laughs> I just finished packing up all of the books. I'm not gonna have time. It is now two o'clock. I'm not gonna have time to make it to the post office because they closed at noon. So, you know, it is what it is, but I will get those out the door on Monday. So if you ordered a signed copy of one of my books, don't worry, they're shipping out to you before I leave on this book tour. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit down now at my desk. I'm gonna get some edits done and then I'm going to, well actually first I'm gonna get a snack because I'm hungry. <laughs> then I'm gonna work on getting some edits done and then probably figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch slash dinner. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished editing. I edited two chapters, which is really good. So I'm gonna take a little a little break and go get some food. But I realized, and I did film this yesterday after I got home from work, but I decided to do something a little bit, <laughs> I don't really know what you would call it. But I decided that to help me kind of really get in the zone when it comes to editing Renegade Crew and adding in some, some of the scenes, I thought it might be a good idea to actually create scents for like candle scents for each of the regions in my little shadow crown world, which is called Eridon. So I decided that I was just gonna make some candles, some homemade candles. But actually they turned out, they turned out pretty well. I feel like I still need to work on the scents a little bit and make them stronger. I'm gonna work on that, but I thought that was kind of an interesting, I don't know, I feel like I haven't really heard of many writers doing that, creating their own candles from scratch with scents to help them kind of get in the zone for, you know, when they're writing their book. And I just figured it's perfect for a fantasy world since I have all these different regions and it actually has helped me as I've been editing and writing to kind of get in, I don't know, to feel like I'm immersed in that particular region. So I'm gonna roll some of that footage here so you can see my, you know, my first endeavors in candle making. So that was that. 
and I guess if if I can kind of perfect the scents and I feel more comfortable, maybe I'll end up opening up like an Etsy shop or just sell them very like sporadically or periodically on my website. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys would be interested in to buy a candle from one of the locations in my book and then light the candle while you're reading the Shadow Crown series. I don't know, kind of a cool thing, maybe not. friends so that is going to conclude today's vlog i really hope that you enjoyed it i just to give you an update on what i've been reading i actually just finally finished a court of mist and fury by sarah j moss i started reading that book in september so it definitely took me <laughs> it took me a while to get through it but I mean, it's a behemoth of a book and I've had a lot going on since last September. So it was really nice to finally mark that one off my TBR list. And I just recently started up on A Court of Wings and Ruin. So I guess this would be the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And I'm really enjoying it so far. And I also did go ahead and pick up A Court of Frost and Starlight. I say pick up, I had Amazon deliver it is what I mean. So A Court of Frost and Starlight. So I think once I finish A Court of Wings and Ruin, I'll go ahead and start on this. That way I've got the world fresh in my mind and all that good stuff. And real quick, I did pick up another book, which is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. And is anyone else like this where you hear about how a book is being turned into a movie and then you kind of like rush to read the book before the movie comes out? This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a while. I could have sworn I had a copy of it on my shelf and when I went and looked, I, I didn't. So that's just my brain lately. But went ahead and picked this up, AKA Amazon delivered it. <laughs> so I think once I finish reading Sarah's books, I will go ahead and dive into The Darkest Minds. Don't forget, if you're not already, to follow me on social media, most notably Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, as well as like my Facebook page. And since I am on my book tour officially, when you guys see this vlog, I wanna let you know that I actually will not have any vlogs going up over the next couple of weeks. I will have my Monday videos going up. It's actually all of my collab videos that Kayla and I filmed together when she was here in April, right before the author tube retreat. So you have those to look forward to, but there will be no Thursday vlogs because again, I'm going to be traveling for my book tour and I will be filming that. So keep an eye out because that book tour vlog will be coming your way in June. If you'd like to support me and my channel, make sure to click that big thumbs up button. Also make sure you subscribe and go ahead and click that little bell because that'll send you notifications to your email whenever I upload new videos. You can also support me via my Jubilate link, which is also listed in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And see you on my book tour. Ah!